In this episode for home buyers, we talk about Mariah Carey and renting versus buying. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Inside Real Estate with me. I am Darren of PersingerGroup.com, which by the way, if you are starting to search online for homes, head over to PersingerGroup.com where you're going to find all the listings in the area, including probably a few that aren't going to show up on Zillow. So make sure you're over at PersingerGroup.com. So this week, watching some TV with my wife, Catherine, and business partner, sits over there on that side of the office. And we see a headline come across the screen that Mariah Carey and her fiance, James Packer, are renting a home in the LA area. $250,000 per month. $250,000 per month. You're going to be able to find some condos, some single family homes even, uh, for sale in the Snohomish County area for that price. And that's what she's paying for rent. And so the reason why I wanted to do this episode is a lot of people think that renting versus buying comes down to an income level decision. I don't make enough money. I can't afford to buy. But then you have to look at Mariah Carey going, if she can spend $250,000 per month to rent a home, why isn't she buying? Great question, because the reality is, if you really think about it, is renting versus buying should be a personal decision based upon where your current life situation is and what you fe- what you think your future life situation will be because in reality probably 95% of the time in the markets around the United States right now buying owning is cheaper than renting so if you're looking at Mariah Carey going she is stupid for throwing away $250,000 per month on rent What's the difference? If you're throwing money away, you're throwing money away. Whether it's $250,000, whether it's $2.5 million, whether it's $250, whether it's $2,500. Whatever you're throwing away, if you're throwing away money, if in your head you're you're thinking, I can't believe she's throwing away $250,000 per month. If in your head you're thinking, I can't believe she's throwing away $250,000 per month. My question would be, why are you throwing away $2,500 per month? or $1,500 per month, or any amount of money per month. I don't think you should ever be throwing money away. So if you think she's throwing money away and you're renting right now, my question would be, why are you throwing money away? Let's talk about your specific situation and see if it makes sense for you to own. And we'll do a a cost analysis, a, a benefit analysis to figure out if it's better for you to own right now based upon what you think your future plans are going to be, because reality is we know plans always change. Uh, reality can get in the way of plans. But let's sit down and talk about that. Head over to persingergroup.com slash meet greet. And let's talk about your unique specific situation on if you should be renting or if you should be buying.